Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So how to sell on Google shopping ads for absolutely free. And no, this is not a clickbait video. This is fully real. Now, if you guys have been following the advertising news lately, you know that Google ads recently released a special feature on their platform, which basically lets you list your products on the Google shopping platform for absolutely free. And as crazy as it sounds, it is absolutely real. And I've already started to see some good results from it. So in this video, I want to kind of talk about exactly how you can personally start selling on Google shopping ads for fully free, but also kind of what this means for all of us, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, because if you don't already know, there are some side effects related to this specific new feature. And it has both good side effects as well as bad. So it's really important for you to stick until the end. But without wasting any more time, let's exactly find out why Google even did this and how you as a dropshipper or simply a Shopify store owner can benefit from this. So how to sell on Google shopping ads for free. And as I already mentioned, Google shopping ads are now free. And this is kind of not fully the case because you can still run paid ads with Google, but now it's kind of mixed with free ads. And I have taken this specific GIF image directly from Google's official post. And as you can see, these specific ads coming up at the very bottom right over here are those free ads which Google is referring to in its latest news. And when you scroll all the way to the top, it says ads right here. And these are the paid ads that Google is referring to. So it's kind of a mix of paid ads as well as those free ads. But before we kind of understand how to even use this, it's kind of important to know why is this even happening? Because if you guys use Facebook or if you have kind of read Facebook news, you know that Facebook is not doing something like this at all. And it's kind of surprising looking at the fact that more people use Facebook ads compared to Google. And I personally think this big shift with Google ads and how Google ads is now offering free ads is going to be the biggest catalyst for Google's growth. And more and more people will kind of shift from Facebook over to Google like I personally did. But why is Google even doing this? What's the kind of main intention with Google behind this strategic move? Well, as you guys know, because of what's going on in the world when I'm recording this video, which is late April in 2020, the American economy has not been doing so well simply because of what started happening during the beginning of this year. And I cannot name that due to YouTube rules. But because of that so-called illness, everything just kind of changed with the economy. Businesses started to do really, really bad. And this kind of caused a lot of loss of business for many retail stores specifically, such as Macy's, Target, Sears, etc. But in addition, a lot of niche went out of business. One specific big industry which is kind of on the verge of going out of business is the fashion industry because during this economic downturn, first of all, everybody is locked down within their home so nobody can actually go out and there's no reason to buy new clothes because you're just kind of stuck at home so there's no need for that. But the smart scientist over at Google kind of looked at this and thought of it as an opportunity to gain even more traffic on the platform and because of that they kind of introduced this free platform which lets advertisers kind of advertise their products for zero dollars but of course this does not mean that you will no longer use google paid ads because there's nothing really that can overtake paid ads as you guys saw with the gif image at the top paid ads are of course going to appear at the very top so those receive the biggest priority but the organic ads meaning the free ads will start appearing at the bottom so even if you don't use paid ads you can still kind of organically gain traffic and still get some sales with the free traffic. But nonetheless, I really recommend that you still use paid ads, but I'll be going over that very shortly. But exactly what does this mean for us dropshippers? Is it really a good thing for us dropshippers or is it something that we'll kind of have to watch out for and kind of change our strategies? Well, there are a few different scenarios that are taking place because of what's going on with Google Ads. The first thing that will really happen with dropshippers is that there's going to definitely be an increased amount of competition for those who just start relying on free traffic. Let's face it, a lot of dropshippers face lack of money, which is one reason why they start dropshipping rather than starting another type of business. And because of that, now that Google Ads has kind of become free for the audience, these people will think that it is right to just stop using paid ads and solely rely on this free traffic. Well, let me tell you that there's only so much that you can grow your business with free traffic. At one point or another, you will have to kind of use paid traffic to boost your results and to start getting even more sales. But until these people realize that, they will mostly be using free traffic. And this is again, just gonna be causing a lot more competition. But because of this increased amount of competition, now SEO optimization, especially for your titles, your descriptions becomes a key role to actually getting sales for free 
with Google's new platform. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while and you've already smashed that like button by now, hopefully, you know that I released a very good video on SEO optimization. Now is the right time to be watching it. I'll leave the link for that in the description below. But SEO optimization is actually one of the main optimizations you will even have to do in order to even start ranking organically with Google's free platform. Because now that everybody's competing with each other for this free traffic, there's only one way that Google is going to determine one advertiser over another. And that is through the kind of SEO optimization that specific advertiser has done, what kind of images they're using, what their CTR is, etc. So number one thing that will affect where you rank with free traffic is, of course, your CTR, meaning are people even interacting with your ads but number two are your titles seo optimized are your descriptions seo optimized does google know exactly what your product is because all seo optimization is is directly telling google that hey this is my product this is what i want you to rank the product for remember with facebook ads it's much easier because you're directly handing facebook the audience that you want to be ranking for with google that's not the case you just put a lot of products within one campaign and just hope that google shows it to the right people well you can reduce that hope factor within that by doing proper seo optimization so be sure to watch my video i'll again leave the link in the description below but this is kind of leading to another Another thing for us dropshippers and that is drop in paid ad users as I mentioned in the beginning but this is going to equal a decrease in ad competition now this is kind of just my opinion because this is what I personally believe will happen now that there's free traffic and free ways to kind of gain traffic without paying because again a lot of dropshippers would rather opt in for the free traffic rather than pay for anything but if you find yourself using Google shopping ads still meaning paying for them still you'll notice that the CPCs may actually decrease a bit and you would kind of face an increased amount of sales for more profitability because there's just a decreased amount of ad competition in general. Why? Because more people are now relying on the free traffic rather than on the paid traffic. So this is kind of a good thing for people who want to pay for their ads still. But now that you know all of this, there's only one ideal situation really that you can be going towards when it comes to Google shopping ads. And this doesn't matter whether you're just starting out with Google or you want to start out or you're already an expert with Google. The ideal situation here will be that you want to kind of be using paid ads along with free traffic for the high bid products and by high bid products i basically mean all those specific products which are inside your testing campaigns but are not spending any money they don't have any impressions etc so those kinds of products now google will kind of show them in the same way that other advertisers selling that product would be shown but rather than paying for those specific products you'll now just be competing via seo optimization and the CTRs. So this is kind of a double win-win situation for you. Why? Because those specific products which are right for your specific campaigns, meaning which are getting you sales, they'll also continue to get you sales via the paid traffic, but those products which are not running or not doing well within your campaigns can now do much better with organic traffic through this new program that Google has introduced. So it's again, a double win-win situation. You can definitely be experiencing a higher amount of return on ad spend and a higher amount of sales in general. If you do apply this ideal situation so again it is a very exciting time for those people using google ads google ads has a very bright future for the months and years to come simply because now google is directly competing with facebook in fact a lot of people are starting to leave facebook because of the high costs strict rules and ad account bans and it's just not worth the hassle anymore especially if you can use google as a platform profitably and make a lot of money because those people doing well with google know that sure you can scale to the moon with facebook very very fast but Google is the platform which is more sustainable. So if you do want to get started with Google, I highly recommend again watching the video in the description below, but also checking out the Google Ads playlist on my channel. It's completely free. But now let's move on to the final part of the video, which is how do you actually start using the program? And how do you actually know if you're already eligible for the program and already activated within your Merchant Center account? Because yes, to activate this program, you'll need to go to your Merchant Center account. So let's do just that. So this is my Merchant Center account for one of my main Shopify stores. So from the main menu, you want to go ahead and go over here on the left and click on growth because under growth, you'll be going to this specific section called manage programs. And this specific program within Merchant Center is called surfaces across Google. And if you go ahead and read the description right here, it simply says, show your products in unpaid non-ad product results on surfaces across Google. Basically, you'll be able to increase the number of places where your product listings appear and it's completely free. As you can see, it says we don't charge sites to be part of the Google search index. Your products will show 
show on surfaces across Google for free. But as you can see for my specific Merchant Center account, it already says active. But if yours does not say active or it says something else, go ahead and make sure to click on the settings button right here or there should be another option over here for you to click on. But once you click on that, you can simply go ahead and come on to this specific page and you can go ahead and choose to activate the program or you can cancel it. But if you have already been signed up for a Merchant Center account, you've been using Google for more than one to two months, you should already have this specific program active within your Merchant Center. But if you're just starting out, be sure to come in here and make sure that this program is active. And one more thing once you do that is you want to go ahead and click on the program settings drop down menu right here because here is where you will have to enter your shipping policy link and simply go ahead and paste your shipping policy link from your store over onto this URL section. But once you have done that, that's pretty much it. You're good to go. And once you start getting traffic via this free program, you can go onto the performance section right over here. And when you click on performance section, you'll see that there's a dashboard section and on dashboard it says surfaces across Google clicks. If we go ahead and click on these three dots and click expand, we can see that on the right it says free clicks all. So these are all the free clicks I've gotten since April 22nd. And as you can see, I've gotten over a thousand clicks. If we just take the lowest possible conversion rate for this specific thousand visitors, which is about 1%, even with a thousand free clicks, I was able to get 10 extra sales. So as you guys can see, I literally did not pay anything for these 10 extra sales they were completely free and the beauty about this is that the free clicks I'm getting on my products are increasing well over time in a kind of like a linear fashion so basically a straight line which is why it is such a good idea to be getting into this program so that you can basically get all these clicks for fully free and as long as you have this program active within your merchant center you'll continue to get these free clicks and as you add more and more products they will automatically be eligible to be shown for free based on the SEO optimizations you have done so that's why it is so important to properly do SEO optimization. But that was the basic idea on how you can start basically selling on Google for absolutely free. If you found any type of value in this video, smash that like button down below and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.